These roads require the utmost in driving dexterity, and with their sheer drops, narrow passes, rugged conditions, and unforgiving terrain, they have become notorious. So if you want to plan your next adventure or just freak out, here are 10 of the planet's most daunting, dangerous, and insane roads to exist on this planet. And make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos. And here at number 10, the Austrian Road in Kazakhstan. A path to Austria that joins Kazakhstan? Again, remember, this 37-mile road is named after the Austro-Hungarian prisoners of war who, between 1915 and 1917, were responsible for its construction. In eastern Kazakhstan, the track brings drivers from the 990-meter-high Bukhtarma Valley to the 2,137-meter-high Burtkatsky Pass. The shoddy route meanders through a national park, forged with picks and shovels, offering spectacular views of the Karakoba River. With its incredible greenery and crystal clear water, it's definitely a sight to see. However, don't spend too long looking out the window. Regularly dilapidated bridges collapse into disrepair, sometimes making the route difficult. If you're fortunate enough to attempt to drive with all crossings intact, be sure to check the weather forecast to prevent potentially deadly landslides known to strike with little to no warning. Many people have been on this route, and while the view may be worth it, it's extremely dangerous. And number nine, Road 622 in Iceland. One of the world's most dangerous roads is Road 622. It's situated on the coast of the Dídafjörður Fjord in West Fjord Mountains Peninsula of Northwestern Iceland. Some claim it's the country's most terrifying path, with a path cut into and under cliffs and fantastic mountain views all the way. This is an insanely spectacular route to take. The road is 22 kilometers long, also known as this full lawyer road. You need a 4x4 with elevated ground clearance to drive on this lane. The track is loose, rugged, and occasionally muddy. Rough rocks and even mud, and you have to go to the southern portion of it at low tide. Note that on unpaved roads, novice drivers will easily lose control of the vehicle. A significant portion of it, when the tide is high, is even below sea level. In winter storms, the lowest lying areas of the path are normally washed away as it's only accessible for a few months, from spring through to the first storm. Number 8. The Taroka Gorge Road, Taiwan In the language of the Aboriginal Truka people, Taroka means magnificent and splendid words intended for the views of the national park rather than your driving experience. A series of tunnels cut into a mountain along the Taiwanese Grand Canyon make up the gorge route, linking the country's east and west coast through sharp turns, narrow paths, and blind curves. In 2012, when their bus failed to ascend an incline in the road, a driver and 13 tourists were fortunate to escape with their lives. Their car rolled backwards, hitting one of the few obstacles, and fell down a cliff causing the passengers to hurt themselves. Your trip along this very treacherous route can also be complicated by regular earthquakes and typhoons that lead to rockfalls. These are obviously incredibly dangerous as they can damage not only the already dangerous road, but your car too. Stay tuned for the next one because it's a little ironic. Number 7. Engineer Pass in the USA If something has the name Engineer in it, then it should be relatively safe, correct? Well, turns out this is completely false. At an altitude of 3,901 meters or 12,800 feet above sea level, situated in the San Juan Mountains near Ure in the USA, it's one of the most scenic off-road drives in Colorado. As the road is rough and rugged, it's mostly a first gear journey. It's one of Colorado's highest mountain highways. Engineer Pass or Ure County Road 18 is called the gravel road to the pass. The road is rough and it's a nightmare in the dark or muddy or both. Combined with Cinnamon Pass, this trail constitutes the popular Alpine Loop. The various mines, ghost towns, waterfalls, fishing, and incredible views are some of the highlights of this trail. For drivers of all skill levels, it's an exhilarating ride. Along the road, there are many mines and points of historical interest. At number 6, Jojila Pass in India. Jojila is an elevated mountain pass situated in the Kargil district of Ladka, India. At an altitude of 3,528 meters or 11,575 feet above sea level, the strip of rocks is not the spot for a drive on a Sunday. It's said to be one of the world's most treacherous passes. The path to the top is unpaved. It's named Highway 1 or National Highway 1. 
With a breathtaking scenery and heart-stopping moments, it's a beautiful mountain road pass. The long and winding road, situated inside the Himalaya mountain range, provides a hell of an experience that challenges you and tests your riding skills. The area experiences high winds and heavy snowfall, making it impassable for most of the winter. The roads are narrow and the drops are steep and there is no obstacle between you and the abyss, even when the sun is shining. The Joji Law Tunnel Project was approved by the Government of India in 2018. It's a 14.2 kilometer long road tunnel that will further minimize the time from over three hours to just 15 minutes to cross the pass. Number five, Berry Meadows Road in Pakistan. In the Gilgit Balistan district of Pakistan, Berry Meadows Path is a beautiful and dangerous high mountain track with a length of 16.2 kilometers. The gravel path is totally unmaintained and there are no guardrails to shield you. And it gets so narrow that by walking or riding, you'll have to cover the last segment at the top. As the pass has been created to demand the lives of reckless drivers, drivers must remain vigilant. Getting to Ferry Meadows is a major risk that keeps the view from being appreciated by anyone. A narrow six-mile climb on the unpaved and rough path is the most difficult aspect of the road. There are no hurdles to stop a car from crashing to a fiery death down the cliff. A narrow six-mile climb on an unpaved and rough path is the most difficult aspect of the road. There's no larger route than a regular Jeep Wrangler and a lot of traffic. One false move and it's all over. Number four, Bam Road in Russia. And I guess the name says it all. All of a sudden, BAM! One of the hardest adventure roads left on this planet is the BAM Road. It's a true physical and emotional endurance test. The BAM Road is an old railway service track in extreme Siberia, Russia, that runs roughly alongside the railway track. It's made of everything from rickety old bridges to waist-high river crossings to miles of civilizations at times. The path with broken wooden bridges and severe weather conditions is largely unpaved. In the early 1970s, this unmaintained road was designed to build the BAM Railway from Banyana on the Russian Pacific coast via Komsomoysk, Bevryk, Tinda, Severo Baikist, Ustkut, Brakst, and back near Taisht to the Trans-Siberian Highway. Ever since then, it has little, if any, upkeep, and it's said to be in very bad condition. This railway service route operates roughly alongside the Baikal Amir Mainline Railway, 4,324 kilometers or 2,687 miles. Only the most serious off-road vehicles and adventure bikes can make the road passable. In Russia, riding the BAM road is not an event that can be represented correctly in words alone. It's potentially one of the most thrilling roads left in the world for adventure, and make sure to stick around because these last few will blow you away. At number three, Sichuan Tibet Highway, China. The Sichuan Tibet Highway is a high rise road that starts on the east in Chenggu in Sichuan and finishes on the west of Lhasa in Tibet. The length of the road is 2,142 kilometers. The Sichuan Tibet Highway, originally named Kaing Ding Tibet Highway, takes you across vast open landscapes with majestic peaks vaulting skyward. Castellated Tibetan homes and an endless number of happy munching yaks pepper the plateau regions. Travelers will enjoy the beautiful and changeable landscapes ranging from warm spring to snowy and snowing winter. Often infamously remembered for poor driving surfaces and sharp mountainside hairpins is the Sichuan Tibet Highway. Driving through single track sections can be a great risk for a less experienced driver in poor weather. Landslides and avalanches from rocks are popular. On this route, several accidents and deaths have been recorded. Because of the sheer fall, even the smallest fault is unbelievably unforgiving. Number 2. Karakoram Highway in China and Pakistan Commonwealth Avenue, dubbed the Killer Highway of the Philippines, is one of the most dangerous roads in the country, situated in the center of Quezon City. This route, along with its incredible heavy traffic, has horrible to non-existent laws, leading to many hundreds of incidents involving cyclists, pedestrians, and motor vehicles every year. The lane has been asphalted, and it's 7.7 .7 mile or 12.4 kilometer long and covers 6 to 18 lanes. It's claimed to be the country's widest lane. It was previously known as Avenue Don Mariano Marcos. Owning to terrible rules and implementation of traffic laws, the route has had multiple pedestrian, bicycle, and car accidents over the years. Many of the deadliest roads in the world are found at high altitudes or remote areas where fatal road injuries can be caused by a lack of government involvement, recovery, or oversight. The bulk of road fatalities are blamed on unnecessary traffic congestion and disorder. 
the path is a labyrinth of reckless traffic with an average of three to five collisions every day. Number one, the death road in Bolivia. For all the reasons you could imagine, North Yungus Road is known as the death road. Driving this 43 mile, 69 kilometer switchback up and down is incredibly dangerous due to the fog, landslides, cascades, and cliffs that at any corner drop 2,000 feet or 610 meters. The path scarcely gets larger than 3 meters or 10 feet wide, and several crosses remain as monuments to those who have died there. Every year until 1994, almost 300 drivers were killed here. No wonder it's earned its nickname. In the 1930s, during their violent struggle with Brazil during the Chaco War, Paraguayan prisoners cut the road. The road links the capital of Bolivia, La Paz, and with the town of Coroico. Yungus Road rises from the La Paz to about 15,260 feet, 4,650 meters, before rising moderately to 3,900 feet, 1,190 meters. The road extends far enough, surrounded by mountainous terrain, to connect the Amazon rainforest to the capital city. Even with the current technology and modernization, there are still many roads that are deemed dangerous to even the best drivers. And if you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing top 10s.